Hello, 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 Sean Brady and Tabitha Sheever with another fabulous podcast of, uh, now we're talking about KPIs, key performance indicators, but going back just to Sarah, we were talking about Jumanji, so, The Rock. That's, that's, that's why I thought of it, because I was looking at you as smoldering intensity. My rock look. I don't do smoldering intensity. <laughs> well... You do direct. You do. All I right. do direct. Let's get direct on these KPIs. Let's, yeah. So direct. Three KPIs that aren't gonna get you anywhere. Yeah. Oh yeah. So key performance indicators. Yeah. The ones that aren't gonna get us anywhere yeah. that we probably focus too much time on. So people set KPIs all the time, right? Yeah. yeah. But all they the don't time. think about these three characteristics of the KPIs. Okay. And so I think this is really important that you do think tell, about. do share. Yeah. So if you set a KPI but you don't really believe that it's possible, yes, probably not going to get you anywhere. What's an example of that? So uh, I'm going to do a million dollars in sales this week. But what if I really believe that I can do a million dollars? Then in sales? I'm absolutely sure you can. But if you go into it thinking, I'm... yeah, right, there's no way. Is that like a little fake it till you make it type of thing? Uh, no. I, no. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, so that's one. What's another KPI that we um, should that we focus on that maybe we shouldn't that make no difference? So if you're scared that it is possible, <laughs> but you haven't thought through what your life will look like I, I after it happens. Okay, so does this so like let's say you you know that you can do a million dollars? Yeah. Of course I can. But you're scared that it's possible? This is like the fear of success kind of thing. Oh, fear of but success. But it's not because you're really afraid of success. It's because you haven't thought through what your life is going to look like after you accomplish it. Yes. So you probably have some belief or some fear hmm. that once I accomplish this, then something else is going to happen that you're not comfortable with. I might become proud. I might become arrogant. I might um, not treat people well. I might write... It's not that that's necessarily going to happen, but because you haven't sat down and said, after this thing happens, after I reach this KPI, after I fulfill this goal, right. this is how I'm going to be. And I commit to it's yourself. It's funny, so that's one of the things that I've shared this with my wife and other people. I do worry about that. I think it's going to change me so much. It's like, oh, I'm going to lose my friends. I'm going to, you know, I'm going to be a jerk. I'm going to be, and I, I know that's not true. You know, I know money only is a magnifier of the person who you really are. So if you're a good person, you're going to be more of a good person. If you're a jerk or some other bad words, you're going to be more of those bad words. Yeah. It's just a magnifier. Yeah. But if you, if, when you sit down and you think about who are you going to be after you accomplish it, it takes that, that scaredness away from it because it helps you just... Yeah. yeah. Again, it's that clarity thing. Yeah, if you're a giver, you can be a bigger giver. Yeah. Uh, more of a giver. Yeah. Or you can help more people or share with more people or smile more or whatever it is. Yeah. Cool. And the last one is if you have squishy or ever-changing KPIs. What do you mean? Squishy or ever-changing so, KPIs. What's a squishy one? This, so when I was CEO. Yes. Uh-oh. This happened all the time. What do you mean? One week, the KPI was, we're going to make a hundred you know calls this week right like a hundred calls a day or the whole week let's say the week okay right? easy and then the next week we were gonna make 200 calls and then the next week we were gonna make 300 calls. well guess what people didn't start to believe that we were gonna ever be okay with the KPI we set that it was just always gonna be this ever-changing thing right or yeah. changes up yeah right and so okay. it became a like you know, why even why even try why even do it like I'm just gonna go change it again just gonna go change it again exactly. make something else ridiculous yeah. or squishy ones and so I mean we've all heard about being really specific right smart yeah, measurable right. all those sorts of things yes um, so it's really actually easy to make kind of squishy KPIs and these are things that like you can't really measure um, uh, but that happens a lot yes yeah, squishy I guess like it. subjective like you can't really grab it. Yes. It's squishy. Yes. So, again, we don't intentionally do this. And I would say that, like, business people tend to put, you know, here's a scorecard and, you know, these are the things we're going to do. But, like, one that I see all the time that drives me a little crazy is we are going to have better customer service. Or we're going to improve our, we're gonna improve our customer service. Like, that's a, that's a goal. Like, 
Uh, okay. Well, is that, how is that? Smart, where's that going to get Go, the, that gonna go get back you? to the SMART acronym, right? right? How's it specific, yeah. measurable? Is it attainable? Exactly. Is it in, was it real time? Uh, realistic. Realistic. And then yeah, and I was, time bound. Time bound. Time bound. Yeah. 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 There's so. another, somebody said that. Was real. I forget. But anyway, yeah. how does it relate? So, uh, you know, I don't know. Maybe you Squishy. look at, maybe you look yes. at, at KPIs, like K, K, defining what key performance indicators are for you in terms of like, am I successful? Am I getting things done? But most people don't even sit down and do that. But if you get to that step, then make sure that they're smart goals. Make them smart, people. Yeah. Three KPIs you can get rid of right now. Well, perfect. Tabitha, thank you for sharing that. You're welcome. That's awesome stuff. All right. I don't know what we're going to do next, but we might not even do it today. But whatever we do, I promise you it'll be fun and entertaining and certainly knowledge bound for everybody else out there. And you'll get to like see me smile. I get to do that all the time. So hopefully more of you will too. So uh, fun stuff. Thank you, Tabitha. I'm going to turn you off, right? Oh, you know, we hope to see you in person. But if we don't, we will see you on social, on social media. media.